What's going on everybody? Brad Cohen, Harmon Realty. In this video, I want to discuss appraisals. Stay tuned. Okay, so what is an appraisal? An appraisal is an independent third-party valuation of the property where an appraiser is going to come to your house to verify measurements and the listing accuracy upgrades that you've done to the property and basically confirm the value. They're gonna do similar to what we do as realtors with a CMA, but it's going to be a little bit more in depth with more analytical adjustments and stuff like that. It can be confusing to understand exactly what goes into an appraisal and it can greatly affect the value of your home. So here's three questions that I get asked often. One, what are appraisers looking for? Appraisers are gonna consider a wide number of factors. They're gonna consider the amount of square footage, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, the quality of construction, finishes, and of course, location. They're gonna compare your home to similar ones in the area that have similar floor plans so they can get a good and accurate depiction on the value. They'll also be taking measurements and notes of any upgrades that you've made to the property to verify their accuracy. Second, what is an appraisal gap and what do we do if that occurs? An appraisal gap happens when the appraised value of the property does not match the contract price. And that could be above the contract price or below. As a seller, you won't know if it comes in above because you'll just receive notice from the buyer that the appraisal substantiates the value and they're good to move forward. But if it comes in below the contract price, it's gonna create an issue for the buyer's financing. And so we'll have to navigate what we do there. There are a couple of different ways you can navigate that from contesting the appraisal to introducing new comps to renegotiating the terms of the contract or expecting the buyer to pay the difference, which we've seen a lot in the last couple of years. Oftentimes appraisal gaps happen because of rapidly increasing prices or because of not having enough comps in the area. It's really important that you have an expert on your side to navigate in the event of an appraisal gap. Third, should I get a pre-appraisal done? A pre-appraisal is when a seller gets an appraisal done before they list the property or before they have a contract on it. Sometimes these can be useful, sometimes with estate properties or if it's a particularly exceptional or unique property that you just don't have comps for, for a CMA, sometimes this can be a useful tool. However, I would caution you probably not to do it most of the time when you're doing a normal real estate transaction. Here's why. First. The appraisal is normally seen as the buyer's responsibility, especially if they're using financing. The buyer is responsible for paying for it and the lender is going to order it to make sure that it is a truly independent third party valuation of the property. They may not take the pre-appraisal that you used. While it can be useful, most likely the bank's going to want an independent appraiser to do it. Second, appraisals can be expensive. You already as the seller are typically going to be paying commission and have other expenses connected to the sale of the property. So it's not really a great idea for you to take on an additional expense when a realtor CMA could get you a pretty good idea on a market value. And third, appraisals are going to vary depending on the conditions surrounding that appraisal. An appraisal on a refinance for a cash out is going to be different than the appraisal you may receive on a sale between a buyer and seller. The definition of market value is what a ready and able buyer are willing to pay for the property. And that opinion is going to vary depending on those conditions. So if you get a pre-appraisal done and then perchance you have a contract price that's significantly higher than that, if you look to that appraised value, you may be leaving money on the table. So in summary, that's what you need to know about appraisals. They are an integral part of the real estate transaction or the refinancing process. And so it's very important that you understand what goes into them, what things are being considered, and then how they're gonna affect the sale of your property. If you have any specific questions about your situation and you talk or would like to talk to me about how an appraisal is gonna affect you, please feel free to reach out in the comments or always feel free to call, text, or email me and I'll be happy to talk about your specific situation. Thanks so much for watching my video and we will see you at the next one. Brad Cohen, Harmon Realty, your go-to resource here in Harrisonburg and Rockingham County.